welcome and hi, my name is Nina Zahabi Kazin. My meeting number is 1812402551. Okay, now, um, my thing is, um, talking about country analysis. Basically, country analysis is an analysis about the examination and interpretation of a national economic, social, and political environment. <coughs> it is not only the analysis is including the environmental issues, but it, it is also about the um, each of the international market has a unique challenges for the businesses, so uh, it provides an uh, opportunities to do any business. <coughs> um, it has um, offered a comprehensive overview of the country. So, like, um, uh, therefore, the country analysis has a many useful for the uh, for all the companies that involved in, in the business. Uh, but it is not only a business in production, entertainment, and any kind of business that has that can be built um that can that can be built uh to make your money but also a business to spread their wings to spend to expand their business their company all over the world um it's like uh, mostly the use of work, the the country analysis is that the investors want to invest in the country because of the financial market uh if the company has a very good financial management um so the, the, so the investors will invest their money so uh, for the example has a very great leadership and management as we can see that they have spread their, uh, their brands all over the world like Malaysia, Japan, Canada, Europe, China and many more companies. So it is actually depends on the country how they want to put how they want to produce how they want to market the product for the Puma product because every country has a very very different uh, culture and different way of them. Uh, so they so we cannot use the same way for our own country like Malaysian also cannot do for um, the same way like Japanese do and United States do. September we met, I can tell by your smile. Hello, my name is Amanda Hill and Ibrahim. Okay, in this video, I will present about strategies based on more entry uh, for Puma company. Puma choose exporting strategies to market their product uh, across the globe. They regard that uh, entry mode help uh, their companies to determine goals, resource and policy in order to channel their international activities toward a sustainable international expansion. September we met, I can tell by your smile, you hadn't been with a good girl like me in a while. Okay, the advantage of exporting strategy based on mode entry is increased economics of scale. Uh, Puma can reduce per unit cost of manufacturing, uh, stabilize fluctuations in sale associates with economic cycles, and can lower cost of foreign market entry since the firm does not have to invest in the target market or maintain a physical presence there the firm can use exporting to test new market before committing more resource through foreign direct investments
next the disadvantage of exporting new entrants every single day marketing concept which can be adopted by an organization as a strategy for business expansion. Okay, some people already know the pros and cons of buying a franchise. One of the advantages is it can explore new career work in a new industry. Okay, uh, Puma brands offer extensive and true support and training to franchise in order to educate and help them understand the this company's business model okay next uh, franchise had a lower risk okay I mean the banks will know that investing in a franchise is a safer than uh, than investing in a new business this is because new bis new business uh, okay franchise also had a lower risk this is because the banks know that investing in franchise is safer than investing in a new business. This is because new business that has not yet had the opportunity to bring up a history of success. Okay, next franchise have loyal customers, base and brand recognition. And then investing in a franchise grants access to an established loyal customer, base and potential employee pool. Okay, next is uh, the, still the advantage. Franchise also has collective buying power. And then when you purchase a Puma franchise, you will benefit from an established deep-rooted relationship with suppliers. This means that materials will be less expensive because of the franchiser. I mean the Puma collective buying power. advantages of franchising okay the first one is initial investment can be high I'm sorry I'm not going to explain it because I don't have enough time okay the second is the second of advantages creativity can be limited okay and then the financial information is shared with corporate sorry and furthermore overlook the overlook creatives of franchising. Oh, and the last one is marketing and advertising expenses. Of course, it's quite expensive. But don't worry, if you're willing to pay, Puma will do anything for you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Mirshaza Abadiyah binti Samsuni. I'm from 22C. Today, I want to talk about Puma Licensee. Licensee is an arrangement where a firm transfers the right to the use of product or service to another firm. It is particularly useful strategy if the purchaser of the license has re relatively uh, large market share in the market you want to enter. License can be for marketing or production. Puma has a clear vision and strategy for Puma Partner License pro Portfolio, which include a specific mix of authentic and contemporary products that complement and enhance the Puma performance and support style product range. 
adds enhancing and complementing Puma performance and sport style product range are for a number of product categories such as eyewear, watch and personal care products. Puma grants specialists and market leading third party company the right to design Develop, manufacture, and distribute those products bearing the Puma trademarks and logo in line with Puma's brand possession as the fattest sports brand in the world. Advantage of expanding internationally using international licensee include the ability to reach new market and be closed by trade restriction and the ability to, uh, to expand without too much risk or capital investment. Next, for uh, the SD advantage, include the risk of an competent foreign partner firm and lower income compared to other moods of international expansion. Licensing is a great way to a new foreign market. Assalamualaikum. My name is Ain Soleha Binti Yusri. My metric number is 1812401X7. So I'm going to present my group assignment, which my part is uh, strategy, second strategy. Uh, my strategy is joint venture. So joint venture is an arrangement between two or more people or companies to work together for a particular purpose or on a particular project. This project can be a new project or any other business activity, each of participants responsible for profit, losses and costs associated with it. In the other word, a joint venture can be described as a business arrangement. The purpose of joint venture is parties enter into joint venture contract in order to combine strength and increase competitive advantage while minimizing risk. For example, a tech firm may collaborate with a manufacturing company to bring a new high-tech idea to the marketplace. One party provides the product expertise and the other provides the means for production. Uh, in additionally, uh, joint venture provide a way for companies to enter foreign market. For example, a foreign company enter into a joint venture with a US company for sale of its product. The foreign company then benefit from the domestic company's governmental approval and business relationship in the industry. This is referred as an international joint venture. So for this joint venture, there is an advantage, some of advantage. So firstly, uh, new site and expertise are the one of the advantage that will steering a joint venture provide the opportunity to gain new insight and expertise. Think about it. The market is now way easier for you to understand given the short-term partnership that you have for gain. Secondly, joint venture are the better resources to make any company achieve their goals. Forming a joint venture will give you access to better resources such as specialized staff and technology. All the equipment and capital that you need for your project can now be used. In addition, it is only temporary arrangement between your company and another. By definition, you won't be committing to it long time.